Hi, hello, welcome back to Max Ninjas. In the previous classes, we were discussing the congruence criterion, SSS congruence criteria and SAS congruence criteria. I hope you are very thorough with the concept of both these. Today we can study ASA congruence criteria. So without any introduction, straightly we can go through the class. A S A congruence criteria. So A for angle, S for side and this A is also for another angle. So what is the speciality of this side? This side is included with these two angles. So we can say that this side as included side. So ASA congruence criteria says that in a given correspondence two angles ABC is our triangle two angles and the included side which is the included side of these two angles angle A and B angle A and B included side is AB so two angles and the included side is equal to the corresponding we got one more triangle D E F this congruence criteria says that two angles and the included side is equal to two angles, two corresponding angles and the included side of the other triangle. Then we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Next we can go through an example. By applying ASA rule, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. They have given that these two triangles are congruent. And one more condition they have given that BC is equal to RP. What additional information is needed to establish the congruence? So, by ASA criteria, we should find out. They have only given one side. But we should find out what are the equal corresponding angles. So, BC equal to RP. BC equal to RP. This is our triangle with ABC and QRP. This side and this side is equal. So we have to say that this angle should be equal to this angle and this should be equal to this. Why? These two triangles are congruent by ASA criteria. So what additional information should we add here? We should add one more condition. Angle B equal to angle R and angle C equal to angle P. So we can write out the answer. BC equal to RP. One side second angle, third one angle. Question number two. They have given a picture here. I am going to draw the picture over here. So these are two triangles and A, C, O, here D and here it is B. They have given that 70 degree over here and 30 degree here to 70 degree and they have given here it is 3, here it is 3. We have to prove that triangle AOC is congruent to triangle BOD. If you are getting any problem like this, you should write the statement 
and then in the next column you should write the reason what all statements you are writing in the left side you should have a reason in the right side so to prove this we should get two angles and one side they have given one side that is ac that is 3 and here db that is also 3 so we got two corresponding equal sides so we have to find out only two corresponding angles equal angles one angle is c and the other angle is d both these are 70 degrees so i am going to write down angle a c o is equal to angle b d o angle b d o this is our first statement what is the reason of this statement can you say the reason this is a given data so as a reason you can write down given given data reason is it is given in the question itself so first one is over next one angle a o c what is the angle a o c this is 30 degree if this angle is 30 degree what about this angle this angle will also be 30 degree why vertically opposite angles are equal so i am going to write down statement number one statement number two angle a o c angle a o c equal to angle b o b angle b o b equal to 30 degree what is the reason this is our statement what should be our reason vertically opposite angles are equal what is the value of this angle and what is the value of this angle to find out these two angles we should know the remaining angles then we can use angles and property of a triangle so by using angles and property we can find out angle b and angle a what is angles and property sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree so we can write down statement number three angle c a o angle c a o plus angle a c o plus angle a o c angle a o c equal to 180 degree what is the reason for this angle sum property of a triangle here we can substitute the values triangle c a o plus what is the value of angle a c o a c o 70 degree plus angle a o c a o c what is the value 30 degree equal to 180 degree so from this we can write down angle c a o equal to 180 degree minus 70 plus 30 that is 100 so 180 minus 100 is 80 degree now we got angle a is 80 degree now we are going to find out what is the value of b now we got angle o b d that is this angle as 80 degree fifth statement is ac equal to db ac equal to db what is the reason for this given data so we got an included side and two angles here to an included side and two angles these three corresponding data are equal so definitely we can say that triangle AOC is congruent to triangle BOD. I hope 
you enjoyed my class if you have any doubt about these two questions and the concept of asa congruence criteria definitely ask to me through comment box if you like my video please like share and subscribe and support me signing off for me bijoy from axinger